Welcome to the series on sharing your data and maps in ArcGIS Pro. We will cover topics including differences between map files, map packages, mobile map packages, project packages, and which ones you might want to use for your particular use case scenario. Let's get started. Here I've opened up a map in ArcGIS Pro that contains some sample data from the National Audubon Society on grassland priority areas. This data was found on their public open data site. The most basic way to share a map is by clicking the map file in the Save As banner under Share. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this map file, call it Grassland Audubon. Save and it's saved. Map files are a way for the map to exist outside the project, allowing others to access the map you created. You can share map files through S3 buckets, email, your favorite online storage solution, like Google Drive or OneDrive, or upload them to your ArcGIS Online or Enterprise portal. You can add map files to projects in Pro as well. Map files will save the map exactly as it is shown in ArcGIS Pro with the appropriate symbology, extents, and layer order. So those are the reasons why you can and should use map files to save your map. Let's talk about why you wouldn't want to use map files to save your maps. The caveat with map files is that the map file will draw and render your data only if the data the layers are referencing also exist locally in the other person's computer. Map files do not save the data for your layers. So if you need to save your map and save it with another user who has access to the layers in the same network location, you can save your map as a map file. But if you're trying to send your map and data, what options do you have? Map packages allow you to share complete maps that contain map files and data sources with others. If the person or computer you're sharing your map with doesn't have the data your map is referencing, this is your best option to consider. Okay, so let's see how we can share this map showing grassland priority areas as a map package. A um, couple of ways to do this. The first way is to go through the share banner. There's a package section. And in here, the second icon is for the map package. So click on that. Okay, so there are a couple options to uh, share this map package. One is to either save it locally or upload it to your online account. I'm going to click Save Package to File because that's how I want to share this, this map package. So pick your location and name for the map package. Here I'm going to call it Audubon Map. Give it a summary, tag. It's considered best practice that before you package up your map by clicking on the package button, um, that you check for errors and warnings that Pro finds that may prevent it from being packaged. Um, technically, clicking on package will also run analyze as a first step, but I like to analyze as a separate step. Okay, so I'll click analyze. It's running. And great, it told me that I have nothing to worry about. Okay, so I'll click on package and it's going to start the process. So depending on how big or small your map is, uh, this could take a long time. Mine's pretty small, so it's done. Okay, and to see your finished map package, you can go to your location and see that it's all ready for you. Open your map package up, all you gotta do is just go into the location and double click and Pro will open up with the map package or go into the insert tab in Pro and just click import map and find your location for the map package and then import it. Not gonna do that because I already have the map open. Okay, the second way to package up your map is by going into geoprocessing, type in map package. First option here under data management tools is package map. This is an option that gives you more fine tuning and more freedom over how your map is packaged than the first option I showed you. Okay, to proceed here, I can use this drop down to select my map. I only have one here, but if you had more, um, I can use this drop down to select which map I want to package up. I can select my location. Um, ArcGIS Pro selects the default project directory. So I'm going to pick my package name. I'm going to say Audubon Map 2. 
You can see what I mean when I said that the geoprocessing tool for packaging a map gives you more options that lets you control the final uh, map package uh, because these aren't options that we had with the share setting tool. Um, so here you can choose to convert all your data that's in the map to a file geodatabase instead of keeping it in the same format. Um, you can pick the version uh, for the geodatabase that your data is going to be in and it gives you control over whether you want to uh, make that accessible in previous versions of ArcGIS Pro. Um, okay, I'm not going to go over every option here, but you can hover over and see what each setting here does. Okay, so I'm ready to package up my map here. So I'm just going to put in Autobahn map geoprocessing tool. Autobahn. And just press run. You can see it's running. And it's done. Okay, so these are the two ways you can package up your map. Either you're using the share setting and the share banner in the package section, or using the geoprocessing tool. Another type of map package you can create is a mobile map package, which is very useful for developers who work with the runtime SDK or other mobile application within the ArcGIS ecosystem. Let's create a mobile map package. I do that by going into uh, the package banner again and just clicking on mobile map. And it gives me something of a similar interface that we saw earlier while creating a regular map package. So I click save package to file. Um, select my location. We'll see that the, uh, the extension, the file extension for uh, mobile map packages is MMPK, while for map packages it was MPKX. Add a summary. And a tag. Okay, the default option is set to the current display extent. Um, let's make sure that's correct before starting the process. Um, okay, I'm good with everything else on this pane here, so I'm gonna click Analyze. Okay, and it gives me a warning. I can click the three dots next to the warning, select the layer that it's gonna be affected by. Okay, and it's just telling me that the, uh, the top graphic base map that the uh, data is on um, won't be um, included in the map package. That's fine. Okay, so let's click on package like this for its course. Okay, let's create the little map package and you'll see the MMPK file in the location that it was outputted to. And you can open this by importing this into ArcGIS Pro, just like we saw earlier with the regular map package. That's from the insert tab in the pane, um, just go to import map again, and then you can click uh, the MPK file. Okay. You can also publish mobile map package from the geoprocessing toolbox. So if you go to geoprocessing and type in mobile map package, create mobile map package again under data management. Uh, I'm not going to go over this, but just so you know it's an option. Okay, so those are all the ways you can package up your map into a regular map package and a mobile map package. I um, hope you found that useful. Welcome to the last video in this series on how to share and package map data. We'll be going over project packages in this video. And for that, we have project packages. A project package is a file that contains all maps and data referenced by its layers also, all toolboxes, folder connections, attachments, geoprocessing history, and like. It's the ultimate sharing solution if you want to package up everything in your project with another user or machine. So let's see how to package up this project. For that, you go to Share. Again, next to the map icon that we used earlier, see Project, click on that. And here we have two options, just like Map Package. Either upload it online or save to file, that's local. So I'm going to click Save Package to File. Pick your location and name. I'm going to say on Project. And you can see the file extension for this is a PPKX file. It's PPKX. Add a summary. Say Audubon Project Package. Add a tag. And I'm going to click Analyze because that is considered best practice. Okay, great. No errors or warnings were found. 
So I can go ahead and click package. So ArcGIS Pro is going to prompt me to save this project before I uh, package it up. So I'm going to click yes. And it's going to start that process. Depending on how much data and items you have in your project, this could take a while. I do not have much items in here, so this took a very short amount of time for me. Great, and that's it. You have your pro project package at the location that you specified, and it should be ready for you to share with anyone that you want. Thanks for sticking with me through this video series on sharing maps and projects in ArcGIS Pro. Hope you found this useful. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to a GeoMarvel like channel for more videos. See you next time.